Hey guys, Tonic here, and today I want to go through 5 unwritten rules in Fallout 76. These rules are not meant to be strictly followed or anything like that, these are just some unwritten rules that have developed over time in the game. And a lot of these are a big reason why Fallout 76 has such a nice, non-toxic, helpful community. Most of these unwritten rules are really only for when you are in a group setting while playing the game. So if you are playing solo, questing, or wandering around then most of these rules won't apply. But when you get into a group setting, because most players at some point will inevitably get into a group setting, whether it be boss fights, public events, visiting a player camp, things like that, this is where these rules really start to take effect. So with all of that being said, let's get right into it. The first major unwritten rule that almost every player abides by is don't insta-kill legendaries if there are other players around. In Fallout 76, if there is a legendary enemy around, you will find that most players just do a little bit of damage to that enemy so everybody can get a few hits in. Then once everybody has tagged it, it can be killed. This is so everyone nearby can get the legendary loot and you will see this a lot if you play a few public events. This is very common and some players will even go as far as using the come here emote to signal that there is a legendary enemy nearby, so if you see that during an event, chances are there is a legendary enemy over there. But if you are at an event and you tag the legendary enemies and the others get some hits in before killing it, everyone will appreciate it and it's a great habit to get into. Up next we have don't just start an event, wait for some players to show up. Some events in this game require you to talk to an NPC or activate something to start the event, and you will find that most players wait a little bit so everyone can make it over before starting, and usually players will give a thumbs up emote when they are ready. But for the most part, once there are a few people there you're probably good to start the event. This definitely applies to certain events more than others, for example some that instantly come to mind are Radiation Rumble, Moonshine Jamboree Eviction Notice, and especially the Encrypted Boss Fight. For that one you will definitely want to wait for some other players to show up. And this could also be applied to daily ops as well. When you join well in a group, try not to leave the starting area and start the timer unless everyone is ready. You will find that most players will wait for you to join, and they will make sure that you're all set before starting the daily op. Next up we have the blue suitcase at White Spring Station. This one is way different than the other unwritten rules. When you travel to White Spring Station, run over along the railing and you will find a blue suitcase with a skeleton. When you come here on public servers, sometimes you will find ammo, plans, armor, weapons, really anything. This suitcase over time has basically become a communal box for all of your unwanted stuff. So if you want anything, feel free to take it, and if you want to drop off any of your extra plans, weapons, armor, aid items, whatever you have, go ahead and leave it in there for someone else. I'm not really sure how it started, but White Spring Station is a very popular train station in the game. It's probably the most popular train station, honestly. Players go here after events to script legendary items, sell stuff to the vendor, use the stash, and it's become a big hub for trading as well. Most trade deals happen here at the station, and most of the time you will find stuff inside of the suitcase. So leaving items here instead of somewhere random on the ground will give them the best chance to find a new home. It's a pretty cool tradition, and I like to leave extra camp plans if I ever have some on me. Next up let's talk about player vendors. Going to other players camps and checking out their vending machines is a big part of Fallout 76. And over time there have been a few unwritten rules or I guess traditions that have formed. For example, always try and make your vendors easy to access. Most camps you visit will have it right out front or they'll have a dedicated vendor area that you can find quickly. If you have your vendor hidden in your camp, most players won't even bother looking for it and they will just move on to the next camp. Also, when selling things in your vendor, the price that is listed on the item itself isn't always a good price to sell that item for. For example, this plan for heavy combat arms is listed at 500 caps, and that is way too expensive for this. I would sell this for maybe 10 to 15 caps. And the same goes for these heavy metal arms. These are listed at 150 caps, and you can find these in vendors for around 10 caps. But then for this Grim Reaper Vault Boy cutout plan, it's listed at 100 caps, and I would honestly sell this for around 500 caps. And sometimes I see these go for 1,000 caps in some vendors. The prices are kind of everywhere, so don't go by the default price listed for most items. You could end up selling it for cheap or really overpricing certain items. It's always best to check out other players' vendors and see what they are selling stuff for so you can get a good idea of what items are valuable and what ones are cheap. For the last unwritten rule, we have help out new players. If you are a new player in this game, chances are at some point a high level player will run over to you and drop a bag with ammo, aid items or plans, maybe even some weapons and armor. And usually they will shoot at the ground next to it to try and show you where it is. 99% of the time these players are not trying to fight with you or trade with you, they are just giving you whatever's in that bag, it's completely free to take and they won't want anything in return. This is very common and you will see this a ton in Fallout 76. The community for this game is so nice and if you ever get to the point where you can spare a few items to help out new players, go ahead. 
It's been a tradition in this game for years because we want new players to have a good time and enjoy the game. On top of this, if you ever find yourself needing help with maybe getting some ammo or a weapon modded, don't be afraid to ask. Most players will be glad to help you out. Now with that being said, some new players might not want the help. I have had times where I try to drop some items for them after an event or something, and they say thanks but they don't want the help because they're trying to play completely solo or they feel like it's cheating to take 100 stim packs and 1000 rounds of 308, and that's completely understandable. So don't overdrop items, just make a nice little care package, and if they want it they'll take it, and if they don't they'll leave it. But still, you will find that the community helps each other out a ton, and it makes playing Fallout 76 really enjoyable. So those are my top 5 unwritten rules of Fallout 76. There are a good amount, but I think these are the biggest ones right here. If you have any other important unwritten rules or traditions that I missed, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. I hope you found this video helpful, and again, these rules are not meant to be strictly followed or anything like that. You won't be kicked out of a game if you don't follow all of these rules exactly. These are just some traditions that have formed over time, and they help to create a good non-toxic experience for everyone that plays Fallout 76. But again, that is pretty much going to be it for this video, so I would like to say thank you so much for stopping by and watching, I really do appreciate it. And as always, I'd like to give a massive thank you to all of the channel members. Arjun Deer, Joe Pervincenti, Shaky Hands Workshop, Mazader, Leo the Collector Plays, As Death93, Loopy, Adam Steinson, Terry Lockridge, Zapper, Robert Kennard, CRM114, Theodore, Slappy Sauce, King Kittens, Omniprotus, Victrix, Axel, Kevin W, Anna S, Fallout McFly, Network Gate, Gold T, Lanthar, Captain Awesome, Citizen Girl, Heather Henderson, Patrick Ruta, 23 Ice Fire, Jay Smith, Bowser Double Frank, Christy Mellon Schwitz. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys, and have a great day.